on this episode of Lapeef Let's Talk. You know, we talked about this quite a few times on the show that happiness is a fleeting feeling. You know, what, you know, happiness is something that happens externally. It's not something that is driven from within. And so um, I think for, you know, that reason in particular, like that pursuit of happiness is why you see um, it becoming harder and harder for families to stay together. And if I read it correctly, um, the Currys in particular have been married for 33 years. Mm -hmm. That's a long yeah. time, man. You know, you raise two uh, successful sons in the NBA and they're competing at the highest level of their profession. Like that's a that's a long time. And, you know, and then we, we just hanging it up. I'm, I'm out. The first topic of the night, put up something real quick. This came out earlier. Dale Curry, Sonya cheated on me with ex NFL player. Dale Curry says his estranged wife, Sonya cheated on him with a former New England Patriots tight end and then lied to him about it. It's all spelled out in the court docs obtained by TMZ Sports in which Steph Curry's father says Sonya is and has been dating Steven Johnson, a sixth-round pick in the 1988 NFL draft. Not 1988. <laughs> 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 Jesus. I you thought you were going to say 2018. Please give me 2000. <laughs> 2008 right. don't take me back 40 years <laughs> 40 jesus man yeah that was a while ago that was a while ago <laughs> so i just kind of want to uh the question that i pose right now for the panel is why is it getting harder for families to stay together in this modern age why is it getting harder for families to stay together in this modern age start with you Kay. Um, I think that the reason that it's divorce rates are, I guess, are climbing um, is because the whole family dynamic and everything has changed. Um, women are more able to take care of themselves. Um, and I'm not saying, of course, I am for the black family and all of this, but just in reality, um, women have more opportunities to do more things. Um, so they don't necessarily stick around through thick and thin um, like people used to. Um, I don't want to glorify the past because I don't necessarily think that everything that was happening in the past was healthy. Um, I also think that a lot of people, um, you know, social media has a huge role in a lot of younger people, especially. Um, the way they see dating and relationships and marriage and all of those things. So all together, I guess I just think times are changing and, you know, a lot of people don't even have an example of a healthy marriage to model um, for themselves. So <sighs> there's a lot of things. I would debate that. I would debate that significantly. Um, debate what? Exactly. I would debate your idea of what how divorce is going today versus it yesteryear what did i say about that what are you talking about okay you didn't hear what you just said you just talked about modern family and all of this other type of stuff and women being able to take care of themselves and all that i heard everything that you said what are you talking about well you said you let, were let me make my point first before you i just want to make sure you're debating something i actually said you didn't say what i just said divorces today versus yesterday i'm just asking what so you didn't say women being able to take care of themselves and all, you didn't say any of that huh? okay yeah i did say that okay so let me actually answer and give you some insight before you bug back um i would push back not only against what you're saying especially as it relates to women taking care of themselves so on and so forth but i would also that it's getting harder for people in the modern age to stay together because in reality, even in 2020, the U S divorce rate has hit a 50 year low. So for every 1000 marriages, right? Only about 15 ended in divorce. So it's a myth in that divorce is higher and worse than ever. And it's harder for families to stay together. When in reality, you can literally just look up the U S census data and it will tell you that 
Um, it is lower than it's ever been in the last 50 years. So we could debate whether or not people are looking to get married more than ever. We can talk about the visibility of marriage when it comes to social media and people championing the idea that marriage is bad, when in reality, people are staying married longer than ever. The people that are choosing to get married. We can also cite data that indicates that the more money you make and the more successful you become, the less likely it is to end in divorce. So just mm -hmm. tackling that point specifically, we'd have to take a different spin on it in order to be able to come come to a conclusion or have a conversation in good faith. Did you say that um, 15 out of 1000 divorces end in, I mean, sorry, marriages end in divorce? For every 1000 marriages, in 2019, only 15 ended in, in divorce. Oh, so that is way less than 1%. That is a fact according to the newly released American Community Survey data. I have it right up on my on my screen according to the U.S. Census data. So less than 1% of... I just read it to you. Okay. I don't know. I don't know how you want to take I don't know. it. I didn't you look can it look it up yourself. Can you send it to me? You got my email. Yeah, I'll send it to you. Yeah, because... I mean, I'm not disputing you. I just didn't know that. So less than 1% of marriages in 2019 ended in divorce. Less I'll send than it to 1%? you specifically from the Institute for Family Studies org. OK, I got to see that. Um, I would be just interested to see it. I'm not saying I don't believe you. I just want to see it. OK, and, and I don't know if you want to send it to me. I'll put it up. Yeah, I'll send it to you right now. <laughs> All right. Rilla, why is, it, why is it getting harder for families to stay together? Yeah, and, and that's, um, yeah, thank you, man. I think in uh, light of what um, Anton shared, I, I do think, I do find that interesting because it does appear to the, ver to the observable eye um, that, you know, whether it's um, celebrity, and I think that's, unfortunate that we take a lot of our cues in Western society from, you know, what's going on in pop culture, what we see happening with celebrities, entertainers, athletes, rappers, so on and so forth. Um, but I would say, you know, of those divorces, even if we say, let's say, uh, you know, of those 15 and a thousand, we know that uh, a lot of times one of the, uh, the key contributors to the divorce rate is um, finances, right? But I think what's interesting in the modern era is that if you think about this um, this pursuit of happiness and this Disneyfication of romance relationships, um, people move further away from the institution of marriage as a covenant in terms of balancing strengths and weaknesses, and um, and more they they're more or less pursuing what makes them happy, which you know, we talked about this quite a few times on the show that happiness is a fleeting feeling. You know, what, you know, happiness is something that happens externally. It's not something that is driven from within. And so um, I think for, you know, that reason in particular, like that pursuit of happiness is why you see um, it becoming harder and harder for families to stay together. And if I read it correctly, um, the Currys in particular had been married for 33 years. Mm -hmm. That's a yeah. long time, man. You know, you raise two uh, successful sons in the NBA and they're competing at the highest level of their profession. Like that's a that's a long time. And, you know, and then we, we just hanging it up. I'm, I'm out. 